Welcome back. Today I had the chance to talk to the stars of a new show on Nat Geo. It is called Valley of the Boom. Have you seen it? Not yet. It's a really interesting show. It's about the advent of the internet and the dot com boom of the 90s. Okay, now we thought you might appreciate a little preview before I talk to two of the characters. And characters is putting it mildly. Take a look. A little A and then the ring around it. At what, what is you say internet that, Allison? anyway? Allison, can you explain what internet is? One word Netscape. Netscape? They have zero concept of what Netscape is. Pixelon is number one in internet broadcasting. Theglobe.com? It's a social network. People will want to log on. I guarantee. Why don't we have a price? Refresh your page. $71 a share. It's the biggest IPO since Microsoft. Congratulations. <laughs> it also makes us a target. This is the beginning of what they called the browser wars. I'm going to bring in a couple of experts. Netscape changed the game. You were at Microsoft's mercy. They were deathbed competitors. We are running a billion dollar company. You must got Microsoft bringing down their neck. Prepare to boldly go where no man has gone before. Valley of the Boom, Sunday, January 13th at 9 on National Geographic. Welcome back. There's a new show on Nat Geo that if you are not watching yet, maybe you should. It is called Valley of the Boom, and two of the stars are joining us right now to talk about it on Ozarks Live. We appreciate you taking the time. Lamorne Morris and Steve Zahn, welcome, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Good afternoon. Peace and blessings. Thank you so much. It's good to see you both. Hey, let's talk about this show, very unusual show, Valley of the Boom, um, about Silicon Valley and the internet tech boom in the 90s. All right, so is this a documentary? Is this a drama? Is this a comedy? Is it a docudrama? Matthew Carnahan got really creative here. Describe the show for us. Ooh. Yes, no, maybe. maybe. Got it. <laughs> you know what? It's all those. It's also, I'm serious too. It's a rap battle. Yeah. A rap, rap, rap video. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dance competition. Yeah. Um, um, it's a puppet show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got puppets. Yeah. There's uh, puppets. We got I was gonna, scenes. I was going to mention that. Um, it, it is. It's, a, it, yeah, it's, a, it's like a rap battle with puppets. It, it, but, and let me just throw this in. <laughs> <laughs> when you he, and I know, I know we're here to talk to you and not me. But you, you, you I, I got to say this: when you hear Ariana Huffington's voice, you recognize her. And I heard her before she popped up on the screen. So all of a sudden, we have real people in this, right? And you guys portray real people, but a lot of times we actually see the real people. What is that like for you? I, I think it's great. It, what it does is basically you have, if, if, if they weren't involved with this, you would have a conventional script that went, you know, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, it's over. Now, but it, it, within that build, you have to put in all these scenes that are fat. Mm -hmm. Right, their exposition, their get uh, scenes, so that you get to know the character that really kind of suck. <laughs> in in this script, you take them out and you insert Mark Cuban, mm -hmm. or you insert Huffington, or you insert Barksdale, and this thing moves insanely yeah. fast. It's yeah. like you're you're cruising the web watching yeah. this thing. It so, adds it adds legitimacy to um, the fictional aspects. I, even though the fictional aspects um, don't hold a candle to what really happened. Um, and when we show what really happened, some people don't think, you know, uh, some people go, oh, you know, you're, you're, you're kind of hyping it up a little bit, you're glamorizing it. No, this stuff, this stuff was crazy back then. It was, it was truly the wild, wild west. And, um, and we were just kind of, he played a real guy. So for him, I, I would imagine it was a little, I don't know, strange perhaps. I didn't get to play, I, I just made up my character a little bit. He was a... Well, I kind of did too, because my guy, who, who's like, uh, you know, 150 pounds heavier than I am with crazy ramen noodle hair. <laughs> I, which and, and which so is delicious, I was in a, by the way. It is. Chicken yeah. flavor. Yeah. But if I had to put that suit on and everything and change into this guy who actually exists, but there was very little on this guy because he existed. All, all these things he did was kind of before the internet yeah. and, and the web really hit. So you can't research him really, um, which is ironic because yeah. that's the thing that actually kind of was the 
Well, and like you, like you said, truth right. really is stranger than fiction here because so much of this happened so fast and you had so many people in a concentrated area that suddenly because of IPOs, initial public offerings, became millionaires that fast. And you had everybody scrambling to be the first, you know, Netscape and Microsoft, and look at where we are now. Um, and Steve, your character is wacko. You look so completely different <laughs> now than you do in the show. And Lamorne, you're sort of the narrator here, right? So you're not based on any real character, yeah. right? No, no, I'm not. And uh, which, which was a bit easier for me, I would imagine. You know, hearing the stories from the other actors portraying someone else, for myself, I just kind of got to have fun, you know. A lot of times, I would look for, I would, go, I would go to Matthew, our director, and say, "Hey, am I, am I in the right ballpark here?" Um, and he would go, "Hey, man, you know, um, your character can pretty much do whatever." He's like, "There is no real ballpark here. We don't really have a clue of what's happening." <laughs> Which was comforting in a weird yeah, way. It was. Like, I didn't feel right. insecure. I was like. All right, I'm gonna do this in Spanish. I like to think of you more as the Greek chorus, though, because yeah. the narrator is separate to the, to yeah, the production, right. whereas if the Greek chorus was a part of the play. Right, right. So I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm in, yeah, I'm ingratiated in some of these scenes, you know. And then you turn your head and start addressing the audience to explain what it is you're seeing, or or in reverse, you would explain what it is you're about to see. You would introduce the scene, and then <laughs> surprise, I'm in the scene as well. And then I. You know, it was fun for me. It was yeah, fun it was really cool. bouncing in and out of different scenarios and having some of the actors look at you and go, who are you? <laughs> yeah, I can see that. It's a fun show to watch. It has to be a fun show to be on. And by the way, guys, our producer, Shelby, is a huge fan. Steve, for one, she loved you on New Girl. So if both of you guys could give a shout out to Shelby real quick, that would rock my world. Can you do that? Shelby, how you doing? Hey, Shelby, what's up? Where you at right now? Made yeah, her day, guys. Oh. I knew you'd love her as much what? as I do. All right, Steve Zahn and Lamorne Morris, look I for Valley really of the Boom <laughs> Sundays on yeah. Nat Geo. What? Guys, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank very you. Much.